welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Today we're actually going to get to real work on individual tycoons. We're going to make it so you can actually get a tycoon. So let's go down and we're just going to go to command line. Come on, follow me down there. Game, or actually instance.new part workspace. Just like that. All that's going to do is it's going to make a new brick and it's going to put it in the workspace. It's really that simple. Now, we'll zoom over here. And you guys see there is a part right here. Now, there's several things wrong with this part. One, it's not anchored, so it's just going to fall around everywhere. So I'm going to fix that. Go over to properties. Anchor it. Next, I don't really like studs too much. Um, so we're going to make it smooth. Just go down here, and there's a bunch of stuff you can choose. Uh, for the surfaces, but I'm just going to make it smooth. Now, we're just going to drag it over to one corner, one little secluded corner, because this brick isn't very sociable. Socialable. Social. Socialite-ness? I don't know! Some word. That's all I care. Alright, now I'm going to make it fairly large. Let's go with 100 by 100. That... Now, some tycoons, you may need a bigger area. Some tycoons, you may not. It depends on the points of your tycoon. You can theme tycoons however you want. But this brick is just going to be called floor. For the simple reason that it's the floor. And we're going to, ins and we're going to drag this floor and put it in the tycoon. Now, we're going to copy this floor. And we're going to name this head. Now, I'll teach, I'll explain why we're calling this brick head later. For now, just do as I say. But, then we're going to drag it to the smallest, and then we're going to make it about, ah, uh, how about 10 wide? There we go. Set it here. Alright, move it over, I guess. Move it down. Not that far down. Move it up one, and then let's make it six tall. Move it up one again. All right, copy and paste it. Then make this one a little go over one, and then all the way there, down, not that far down. All right, first up, let's make it. Okay, collision detection is on. So why the heck? All right, we'll just move it down. How's that for you, Roblox? All right, then we'll just move it down and make it the same height. Or just a little bit taller than this. We're going to recolor it. Now you can color everything however you want. But I'm going with the standard stuff for tycoons. I'm going to recolor it brown. Then I'm going to copy it, paste it, and move it over. And it's still not quite on the floor. So I'm going to switch to one point, uh, one fifth, which allows you to move and scale things at one fifth of a normal stud size. And now we've got this all done. We'll group all three of these bricks together and name this model Claim Tycoon. Insert it into the tycoon. Now here's where naming it head is important. First we're going to name these two brown bricks just part again because we can't have more than one head. I mean, I only have one head. So. Now we're going to insert a humanoid. Now I don't know how much I've talked about humanoids yet, but humanoids are what give your name and your health above your head as a player. They also make you move and jump and sit and trip and many other helpful things. However, for this, all we want is the name. So we are going to select our humanoid and we're going to go down and change its max health to zero, which if you look, now the health is no longer there. We're also going to change the health to zero and the walk speed to zero. See, there's several things that a humanoid can do, and we'll go over humanoids much more when we make other games and other projects. But right now, this is this is all we need. So there you go. That's how you make it look like that. But how do you actually make it claim a tycoon? Well, it's a script, really. Just go over to the claim tycoon and insert a script. Sorry about that, I'm back. Alright, now this script, we're going to start out and write script.parent.head, oops, 
that head that touch I can't type connect function hit now we're going to make char equal hit that parent and then if char find first child humanoid and game that players oh you know what I just noticed the font for this script text is way too small I will fix that Give me just a second. Seems that Roblox really does not like for it to save how big I want this text. I keep having to change it. All right, now let's go over here, back to where we were. Game that players get player from character, and this the function makes it perfect. Uh, game that players get player from character. If you supply a character to an actual player. It's going to return true and the and the player. If there isn't one, then it's going to return false. Then end. All right. Now player equals, and we're just going to copy this because, as you know, with if statements, it's only going to get this far if it's true. Then, if player that has tycoon, and we'll get to this in a second. That value. Oops. That not. Add a not, because we want this has tycoon to equal false, because no, we don't want people to have two tycoons. And I'll explain what this is for in a minute. Then, player that has tycoon, oops, I put two t's, that value equals true, and script that parent, that, uh, parent, that owner, that, or owner name, sorry, that value equals player that name script that parent remove so what these lines are doing is we're going to make a value in our leaderboard script here soon that is directly in the player called has tycoon it'll be a boolean value and indicate if the player has a tycoon or not then we're also going to insert a new owner a new string value into our tycoon named owner name and that's going to possess the name of the owner of the tycoon that will be a very important value and lastly, we're going to remove the claim tycoon because we don't want it there getting in people's way if they already have the tycoon. What's the point there? There isn't. So now let's insert the, the string value into this tycoon. Just very, very simple to insert a string value as long as I can find it. Ah, there it is. String value. And just name it owner name and keep it with nothing in the value at first. Next, go to our script where we're giving people leaderboard points, which we will actually name the script leaderboard. Make it a little easier on ourselves, why don't we? Now, in here, we're going to make another stat thing. And it's going to be called has tycoon. Set it to instance that new bull value, meaning boolean, which can only be true or false. Has tycoon that name, oops name equals has tycoon has tycoon that value equals false has tycoon that parent equals player and we can actually cut this and put it after this and then we'll make a block here with one two three four five copy this paste 10 15 20 25 10, or 10, 15, 20, 25. Leaderboard. Extra stats. And then down here, we're going to copy this and paste it there. So now it's all kind of broken up and more organized looking. And what this is going to do is make it possible for us to claim a tycoon. So we're going to quickly test it. I know this episode's been long, and I'm trying to get these through so I can have these episodes ready for this week. Because as I said in Monday's video, my computer is going to be at a shop getting fixed. And I won't be able to make videos. But hopefully it will work okay. So, wow, we spawned really far from the tycoon. We may want to put a spawn over here and make our lives a little easier. You know when I'm like hitting it, you know. Um, it'll be not much better. Oh, we have an error. Workspace that tycoon claim. Ah, there's an error on line nine. 
Well, first, let's just insert a spawn. Um, really quick. Um, game stuff. There we go. Insert this. Close the toolbox. Did I make two? I did make two. Put it here. Much easier now. Now we'll go into the Claim Tycoon script. What's wrong? Oh! Wait. I don't actually understand the problem here. Then. Oh! We need to add two parentheses there to close the function and actually finish calling the function. So that was easy enough. Just a syntax error that hopefully I've taught you guys well enough that you would notice it. Or you already knew well enough that you noticed that error. I feel like an idiot again. But this is how scripting and other such things go. You run into errors and you facepalm a hundred thousand times. Now... When we step into this, it'll disappear. We'll go to players, player one, has tycoon. We see its value is now true because the box is checked. And if we go to workspace, tycoon, owner name, we notice it says player one, which of course it's not my real username. My real username is bballer13sn. But here it's player one because we're in test. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding now you've heard about this video, and I will catch you guys later.